Experiment refraction through glass slab to find angle of emergence and lateral displacement. The aim is to trace the different rays of light through a glass slab at different angles of incidence and to find out the respective angle of emergence and lateral displacement for each case. Apparatus used are rectangular glass slab, three white sheets of paper, boat pins, four long pins, protractor and scale for measuring. A sheet of paper is pinned with the help of four board pins and a glass block is taken. The outline is drawn so that if we remove the glass block, it can be placed again back in the same position. An incident ray is taken of any angle. Later on we will measure. Normal is also drawn. Two pins are placed on the incident ray and now through the glass block we can see the feet of the pins visible. We are going to adjust those pins and find out the emergent ray. Emergent ray is dressed with the help of the two pins. Now we will remove the pins and draw the emergent ray. An emergent ray is drawn. Now we are going to find out the angle of incidence, angle of refraction with the help of a protractor. Angle I is 50 degree. Now we measure angle R. Angle R is 31 degree. Now we measure angle E. Angle E is again 50 degree. Here we find out angle E 50 degree. If the incident ray passes undeviated, we are drawing it drawing a line till here so this is the incident ray when it passes undeviated now we are going to measure the lateral displacement we are going to measure the lateral displacement in this way and the lateral displacement is 2.5 we repeat the experiment for the second time. Here we find angle of incidence 22 degree, angle of refraction 14 degree and angle of emergence that is also 22 degree. Displacement we measure that comes to 0 0.9 centimeter. Because we need minimum 3 data to come to a conclusion so the last experiment we do with the angle 42 degree respectively we find angle of refraction 28 angle of emergence again comes to 42 degree displacement we measure 1.7 centimeter now all the data are written in this observation table from the observation table, it is very much clear that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of emergence and the lateral displacement is increasing with the angle of incidence.